Oh, holy shit, we're playing Silent Hill. Oh my god. Oh, this game is so good. Oh, and uh, I just, uh, fuck, I'd, I'd like to take this moment while we're... Wait a minute, why am I showing us backtracking down the hallway? I could just not put this part in the video. Puzzles, uh, for those of you that are here, Henry Mildred Scott. H. M. S. Holy motherfucking shit, we're playing Silent Hill. Uh, wait, wait, I should probably remember those positions. Straight left, straight right, and then up at an angle. Because that probably has something to do with this fucking clock puzzle here. Or, uh, wait, can I not do the puzzle? I can't. Oh boy. Clock is stopped at 547. Faceplate is closed. I can't touch the middle of the clock like this. Damn it! So I was thinking that was probably hours, minutes, seconds, but I guess I can't do anything. The scars from the past shall remove the nail that stops time. I'll push the clock. Push. Push, James! Oh, you weak ass fucking twink. No matter how hard he pushes, it doesn't move. Damn it! It's just, it's just like being constipated. What a fucking shitty time. Oh yeah, I can turn my flashlight on and off, but I'm gonna leave that shit on, because fuck, it's dark and I want to see things. Like, goddamn, y'all. Goddamn. Goddamn. Nothing for me to pick up here. Doesn't seem like it. Anything in the kitchen that I missed? Nope. James says, there's nothing of interest here, so I guess we'll move right along. Uh, what am I doing? Fucking map. Where have I not gone? Okay, so I can't get through the clock puzzle, which presumably is how I need to progress. Can't get through any of these rooms over here. Oh yeah, by the way, I have the flashlight now, which means I can look at my map, thank Christ. Um... I haven't checked out those rooms at the end of that hallway, so I guess we're going back there. Alright. Alright, fans of progress, time to get that lovely, lovely progression that you so tenderly crave. Oh boy. Silent Hill, eat flesh. That would be like a fucking honest ad for like fast food in Silent Hill. What you see, James? What you see? A key? Can I get it? There's a key on the ground on the other side of the bar. So if I stretch my arm out, I just might be able to reach it. Well, yeah, of course go get it. What could go wrong? It's just in fucking jail, you know. Ah, oh, come on, James. You're limber. You're limber. Channel your inner, inner elastic girl. What the fuck? You fucking shit, kid. Why would you... Hey, wait! Damn it. Okay, what a fucking bitch. I mean, Jesus Christ, I, I don't, we don't know if she's a ghost or what, but like, what kind, who would, why would you just fucking walk up to a total stranger, kick something out of reach that for all you know is their possession, and fucking stomp their arm like the fucking rock, like, Jesus Christ, you fucking training to be a heel in the WWE, kiddo? Uncool, very, very, very most on Gucci. What, will you see something else, James? What, what, what else do you see? Or are you still trying to look at that same key? Uh, I think that ship sailed, buddy. I think that ship has unfortunately sailed. So we only have a couple doors to try. Which, you know what? That makes our life simpler. I don't mind this. I don't mind this. Too many choices just makes me want to cry because I can't decide things for shit. Uh, as a lesbian, uh, I pride myself on never having an answer to the question whenever someone asks, where do you guys want to go eat today? It is a hallmark. It is a hallmark. Am I a lesbian? I don't know. I'm, I'm into guys sometimes. You know, let's just say it's complicated. I'll leave it at that. What, what are, what are sexualities? What are genders? Does it matter? I don't know. Who am I? Who am I? But but a a mysterious lime on the internet. Oh yeah yeah I forgot about that. We decided that you guys were my fucking citrus sisters. I ca that's that's catchy. That's catchy. I think it also might be a little cringy and bad. But you know what? I'm cringy and bad. And 
Oh my god, this cart came from Walmart. It's got the handgun weapons. Oh god, these guys... These fucking, uh... Developers, man. They localized this shit for America correctly. So, so what is this on the ground? Oh, is this em empty bullet casings? It, it looks like this wall is peppered with way too many fucking bullet holes for one small handgun. It literally looks like there was a fucking military shootout in here like holy shit excessive much like damn or is that all this room is just uh get the gun i don't mind that i'm i'm glad to have it you know wait a minute all these doors are blue that means i should be able to go through them right i guess blue is just what they use for the doors in the uh inner inner rooms but we've gotten the gun we made a little progress here on the floor even though kid uh, fucked up our key situation like a bitch and uh, oh, oh, oh I can I can I can set to the camera in front of me in these hallways oh sick all right that's actually helpful this doesn't open right guess it's on to the next floor why am I hearing static I guess there's something over here now but I can't get over there so moving on open Thank you. God damn it, game. It doesn't have to be pixel perfect, bro. J James is a smart cookie. He knows how to door. Was that really that whole floor, though? Well, I don't... No, not the map. I don't need the map. Uh, I don't think I actually... I, I gained the gun. Is that all I gained? I think so. I might be missing something, because I don't... At this point, think I actually have a way to progress... So, um, I guess pause the episode again until I figure out what the fuck is going on. That sounds right. You know what, I probably missed something on the third floor. That's what I'm thinking. But we'll check the clock puzzle room first. Okay, that's new. I don't remember that shit before. Um, what the fuck? Hello? I'm heading north, right? North? Uh, yeah, I'm heading north. Oh. Oh, fuck. Hi there, uh, Mr. Pyramid Head. Uh, how, how, how are you? Are you good? Oh, just kind of shimmying, huh? Oh, well. Uh, bye, I guess. Fucking shit, man. Oh, and I get this music again now. Oh, it's almost better than the silence. And, oh, fuck. But did I not... I don't remember this. Did I not try this room before? Or was it locked? Wow, more corpses. That look just like me. How quaint. Oh, fucking shit. Well, there's a key. Can I have it? It's room 202. Oh my god, thank you for telling me where that goes, because I did not want to have to try every door. Oh my god. I mean, I know I said in the past that this game, you know, doesn't have jump scares, it's atmospheric, uh, I know what happens, so I'm not scared like a weenie, but something about spending like 15 minutes just fucking wandering around this silent, dingy-ass apartment building, trying to figure out where the fuck to go. 
Then getting hit with that fucking creepy baby noise and pyramid head standing there. Um fuck yeah, I'm 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 a little bit on the edge of my seat still. This is this is unsettling. Even if it's not downright like terrifying or jump scary, he's gone now. So he's just fucking out and about. Good. Good. Just what we would uh just what we would hope hope to see. Well, 202 is right uh, down this way. Um, I can only imagine more good things to come on that floor. Fucking A. Alright. Alright, James. Me and you. You and me. Let's do it. We're in this together. Going to the creep zone. 202, more like 20 boo. Happy Halloween, Silent Hill fans. <laughs> Oh fuck! Is it is the tension lightened? You're welcome, you guys. All right, keys used. Welcome to the horrors of room two hundred two. Is it just empty? It's uh oh, it's got a health drink. Oh my fucking god, yes. And it's re why is it PT? Why is it PT over here? Is there anything I can get? Uh, it's just red. Can't look around. That's okay. You know, that's just red. That's normal. Nothing to, nothing to see there. Let's see, why is it all cages? This is not a normal apartment to have like fucking chain link fencing. Who fucking lived here? Jesus Christ. Huh? Nothing inside the cage. Well, they had some pets at one time, so they couldn't have been all bad, right? Oh, it's red here too. God, that fucking music's creepy. I, Akira Yamaoka, you're a fucking genius. Body of a dead butterfly is on the ground, nothing else of interest. Uh, how about the bed? No, nothing here either. Oh. F fucking sewer hole. Too dark to tell for sure, but I think there's something on the other side of the hole. Will you investigate? Oh, James, 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 James. You're not gonna stick your your hand in the fucking dark slime hole in the creepy apartment, are you? Are, are you? Are you that kind of dude? Oh, uh, this is highly rational. And the fucking ominous red light from nowhere. Okay, you know, yeah, this is normal. It, uh, it doesn't come out in the fucking capture either, but when he sticks his hand in the hole, my controller vibrates like fucking crazy. Like, it's just fucking going to town with that rumble. Oh my god, is he gonna do it again? Nothing in the hole anymore. What the fuck is this? Why is there just a fucking gaping infected wall pussy here? Jesus Christ. Alright. What's in the slime door? Nothing? This room is creepy as shit. We got the fucking green slime everywhere. We got the inexplicable red light. We got the fucking Silence of the Lambs butterfly collection. Which I can only assume is the dude that stayed in this apartment before. Like, oh my god. Just fucking weird. That's the, like... God, are we gonna just fucking rave about Silent Hill more? I, okay, yes, I will. Some games might try to scare you by just fucking hanging severed heads on the wall and shit and going, ooh, it's murder, but... I mean, there's nothing explicitly malevolent at all here, and yet it's just so fucking creepy and weird. Like, what the f You just have no idea what the fuck is going on. Alright. Please don't be roaming the halls, Mr. Pyramid Head. I don't wanna get mauled today. Okay, so I got the clock key, so I guess I'm going back over where our, where our good friend Pyramid Head was a minute ago. Great. I'm sure you guys all know Pyramid Head. Fucking 
For people that don't know Silent Hill, he's the one thing people know about Silent Hill. He's the fucking baddest villain that ever was. That ever will be back back in the in the hills of silence. Dude's just fucking badass. He is originally from this game, of course. He was in other games, he didn't make sense there. He's in this game kinda as James' personal tormentor. So, uh, I mean, we can get into the reasons for that more as we get into the lore, you know, later. But for now, just suffice it to say that he really doesn't belong in games that don't feature uh, this, this cool cat here, James Sunderland. Alright, clock, clock puzzle time, finally, we've been waiting. We've been waiting all these years. Um, let's take a closer look at this again. Henry Mildred Scott, hours, minutes, seconds, facing left, facing up to the right, facing to the right. Okay, J just like John F. Kennedy's skull as he was being brutally murdered. Got it. Got it. Fucking who could who could forget? <laughs> I can't touch the needles like this. Well, so unlock it then. I, I have the key. What the fuck? Do I have to? But it opened the door to the room automatically. With the, why do I have to go in the inventory for that? <sighs> I see Silent Hill's nothing if not consistent. Okay, so what was it? What was it again? To the left, up and to the right, and to the right? Yeah. Oh, and the second hand is just stuck. So, I just... Perfect. Okay, so I guess if I had turned the puzzles on easy, it would have only been one hand, and if it was on hard, it would have been all three. Well, that wouldn't have, that wouldn't have been that hard, even if it was on hard. I, I guess I really should have went for the hard puzzles and just taken the full, uh, the full brunt of the, uh, intellectual puzzling power of the realm of Silent Hill. Ah, oh, man, this is taken... A little more backtracking shit than I thought. I was hoping I could get through the uh, whole apartments in this episode, but you know, might be more to this. Might be more to this than I thought. This this first dungeon of torment for our good pal James to explore. Um, all right, where am I map wise now? Okay, so that room to the right is just kind of extra, and then if I go the other way, it'll lead out to the next staircase, so I'll just do this extra room first. Oh, oh it's locked. Cool. <gasps> Saving. Alright, Gucci. Gucci. We can finally abandon the last of the, uh, the heretic save files. Onward ho! Uh, ignore that time. I left the game on for a long time between episodes. It's, it's fake. It, does, it, doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. All right, James, what do you see, buddy? Oh, fuck yeah, more health drinks. Fucking give me that Jack Daniels. Drown my sorrows away. You know what would be really pro? I mean, the Akira Yamaoka soundtrack is good, but what would really make Silent Hill just have the most, like, dark atmosphere possible would be some nice Linkin Park. You know, you know what I mean? That's what this game needs. That's what it's missing. A little bit of crawling in my skin. These wounds, they will not heal. I tried so hard and got so far. In the end, it didn't even matter. All right, let's check out the first floor here. We didn't really get to see any of that before so let's let's do that before we head on to the third I I say that's my vote that's my vote it's locked man don't I just feel like a punk now huh you gotta do that to me game why do you gotta cock tease me like that I wonder if James is in the cuckoldry maybe 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 that's what this is his wife getting diseased and ceasing to be able to fuck was the ultimate cuck experience for him. Maybe it was actually the fulfillment of his fantasies, you know? I mean, clearly he's a weird dude. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe he's got some dark shit going on in that brain of his. 
we shall see as we delve more into the psyche. Freud really would have a fucking field day with this game. The fucking mannequin legs enemy, fucking shirtless daddy pyramid head. I mean, this game was just... Oof. A little f fuel for the repressed fantasies, and I have already skipped at least one door. I'm such a fucking clod. Damn. <laughs> clod damn it. <laughs> We're gonna go for some fish puns, say cod damn it. Dirt puns, sod damn it. This is high comedy. This is truly high comedy. I should, I should start a business where I just sell business appropriate puns. To various small business owners to improve their advertising. We'll draw in all the customers. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, C couple uh, couple points to make here, couple things to unpack. First point, uh, what the fuck? <clears throat> uh, second point, what the fuck? Ugh. So, um, yeah, you guys just saw that. What was going on there? Was he sodomizing these guys? Was he trying to fucking shove them down the garbage disposal? Man, I don't know, but uh, it's pretty clear Pyramid Head's into some kinky shit. So, we'd get along. We'd get along. He seems like a bro. Uh, second thing, or third thing, I don't know. How many things are we on? Does it look uh, to anyone else like Pyramid Head was genuinely harmed by those bullets? He really seemed like he was uh, down for the count there. Mm, not so sure about that. Not so sure about that. He probably could have just come in and wrecked our fucking shit. But he didn't. He didn't. Why is that? It's kind of up to interpretation, just like fucking literally everything in this game, which, uh, you know, if you wanted to be a fucking jerk about it, you could say it's a fancy way to term being lazy. I don't think it's that. But, uh, yeah, I, like I said... Pyramid Head is here as James's personal tormentor, and James hasn't been put through enough shit yet. So to corner him in the closet and skewer him like a fucking fish fillet five minutes into the game? Nah, James, you gotta experience more. You gotta see all the fucking fucked up shit this town has to offer. Also, can we just... We've made this point before. Can we just talk about how James is not a fucking real human person? Like, for, he hides in the closet, with the light still on, sees this fucking giant menace that is, uh, probably, you know, pretty fucking durable. And without even having the dude, like, go for the closet, he's just like, oh, fucking sh shoot him in the head, why not? Sh empty the cartridge. What could possibly go wrong? I'm sure this will work out the way I want it to. What's that say? Just a normal washing machine. Nothing of interest. Well, maybe you're not interesting, James. You ever think about that? Before you go judging others? 
What are you looking at also? Can I have it? You keep, you keep saying there's nothing of interest, so what are you fucking looking at, bro? Oh, is he looking at the monster? That makes sense. Okay. Alright. We're back on it. We're back we're over where shit kid was now. Uh, one, oh yeah, one more thing about that cutscene. So the way Pyramid Head moves, uh, we see in that cutscene is very fucking awkward and stilted. And, and just, uh, just seems genuinely uncomfortable, which uh, is also by design. I mean, you see the fucking, you know, the pyramid on his head. This just giant hulking piece of rusty metal, which, uh, oh god, I forget... I forget the name of the guy that makes the monsters. Is that Masahiro Ito, or was he the game's director? I'll have to double-check that before the next episode so I can give you guys correct informations. But, uh, yeah, the pyramid head design was actually... They put that giant fucking triangle on his head, and they specifically designed it as, like, a pyramid like that so that it would look as uncomfortable and miserable to wear as possible. Like, as he's here to torment James, he's having a pretty fucking bad time himself. Like, that, it is not fucking easy to carry that shit around and maneuver through the realms. So, uh, yeah, there's there's just a lot fucking going on with these designs. Uh, also, Pyramid Head's just fucking creepy, and the fact that we don't ever get to see his face kind of adds to the mystique, I would say. And can I have what I'm looking at, whatever it is? Please. Hmm. What, what, what's going on here? Oh, there it is. It's on this side. More bullets? Yes. I should honestly just start using the handgun. It'd probably make these guys easier to deal with and save my health a little bit. Which, lord knows, I need all the help I can get. Absolutely all the help I can get. Nothing in here. Everything's quiet. We've vanquished the beast. Anything in here? Uh, oh, can I get in here? No. Oh, there's a door in the way. Can't can't possibly get past that. Oh, game logic. This game isn't too bad about that for the most part, though. Honestly, usually when there's a place you can't get to. It is either behind a door that they just say, oh, the door don't work, or it, like, you know, it makes sense why you couldn't get past something. It doesn't usually, uh, do the classic, oh, there's a bush in the way, we, I'm sorry, we can't go. We can't move on. Which I like, because that's fucking annoying. Uh, okay, I have to go behind me to finish exploring this floor. Then I've got a... Staric two staircases. Oh no, only one that I can get to. That one's from the other side. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. I'm starting to learn my way around. And I've got... What have I got? Oh, fuck, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. What have I got for keys? I've got a courtyard... Or a fire escape key. From the hallway to the fire escape. And I've got the courtyard key. The courtyard key is in the very front, so if I can't do anything else, if I can't figure out where the fire escape key goes, I can just go there, and we can hopefully have some good progress. Okay, alright, that works. Oh fuck, loading screens. You never know what horror is. Fucking a loading screen is uh, indicative of... God damn. Alright. Alright, moving on. Down into the depths. Oh, can't get the door open. Well, I'm surprised it even gave me an animation with the boards in front of the door. Not an animation, a sound effect in like a text box. Usually, if there's shit there, if, it, if it's all rubbly, uh, that, that's just that, bro. Alright, so this is the courtyard key. Now it's unlocked. Okay, cool. So now we can skip from the front section to the back section through the front area there. That makes life a little easier. Okay. Cool. And now we can explore some of the first floor for the first time. Noise. Let's see how the other half lives. 
ground level, of course, being where they keep the, the low EPNs. What's this? Canned juice. Mm hmm. I remember. Okay. You guys want to see the fucking survival horror uh, puzzle solution tactics that uh, all fucking 90s, 2000s games were known for? The fucking premium intellectual challenges that gamers back in the good old days had to uh, contend with. Yeah, let me, let me, let me, let me show you how this is done real quick. You gotta throw the fucking juice in the can so the garbage will come out. That's it. That's the solution. Could I have used my, my fucking stick to jam it down? Nah. Nah. Could I have used fucking any of the fucking cinder blocks and shit that are lying around? Nah, it's the it's all about the juice, man. If you wanna you wanna get juiced, <coughs> you gotta get juice. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, I'm wasting your time and mine. Oh, how how insensitive of me. I'm so sorry, everyone. No, 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 no. Back out, back out. This way. Yeah. Oh fuck. How am I lost? There's like fucking three places to go. Jesus Christ. Okay. Alright, there we go. There we go. So, let's uh, find out what fucking amazing garbage that uh, James has been able to collect through his ingenious use of tools, which is, of course, uh, proof that humans, as, as an evolved species, we are the pinnacle of Darwin's theory. We learned problem-solving critical thinking we learn how to use tools like juice to fucking get the best treasures that nature has to offer like this fucking garbage right here what do we get ah oh, cool there's a magazine ah oh, it's fucking penthouse oh, i got the old man coin some gossip magazine eh? and the police announced today that walter sullivan who was arrested on the 18th of this month for the brutal murder of billy low kane and his sister miriam committed suicide in his jail cell early on the morning of the 22nd. According to the police statement, Sullivan used a soup spoon to stab himself in the neck, severing his carotid artery. By the time the guard discovered him, Sullivan was dead from blood loss, the spoon buried two inches in his neck. An old schoolmate of Walter Sullivan's from his hometown of Pleasant River said he didn't look the like the type of guy who would kill kids. But I do remember that just before they arrested him, he was putting out all sorts of strange stuff like he's trying to kill me, he's trying to punish me, the monster, the red devil. Forgive me. I did it, but it wasn't me. The schoolmate then added, I guess now that I think of it, he was kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, now, that I, now that I think of it, at the time it seemed normal, you know. I mean, everybody's talking about red devils, you know, it's Silent Hill, but now, now it seems a little fucked up, you know. Well, so those of you more in the know might notice that uh, fucking... Walter Sullivan is the protagonist, not the protagonist, is the fucking antagonist of Silent Hill 4. Uh, they just kind of name-dropped him in there last second when they were changing it from a generic horror game to a Silent Hill game. So that's pretty radical. That's pretty radical. Oh, the courtyard key opens that too. Oh, sweet. So now I have yet another new section of the first floor to, to examine. Oh no, this is the courtyard. Oh, this is where I was supposed to take that all along. Okay. Alright, where does this lead? I guess I can go right and get to another section. I'd like to explore the rest of this outside zone first, though. See what see what we got out in the world here. Anything cool? Uh, I can't read the bushes. Damn. There's a pool. Oh, can we swim? I, I could really use a good, uh, a good little refreshing splash to wash off my fucking inner demons, wash away my sins. Seems like my sins have already found their way in, though. That's inconvenient for me. Is there, is there something I need in there? There probably is. I feel like there probably is. Ah, uh, you know the ex old expression, shooting fish in a barrel, uh, ah, oh, fuck. That's all I want. How about, how about fucking shooting horrors in the pool? Oh yeah, fuck, I have to reload from the menu too. Oh god, this is fucking 2000s as shit. Damn it. 
It's inconvenient. But, uh, hey. Fuck you guys. You too. Fuck yeah. Did we get him? Oh, oh fuck, they're scurrying. Why is there a fucking baby carriage in the pool? I got the snake coin. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that that's all I need in here and get the fuck out. God, this is fucking annoying. Uh, see you guys later. I'll let you enjoy the rest of your swim in peace. I guess those guys are kind of swimming more authentically now, now Now that I've fucking bound them to the floor. They're scouting around just like they would if they was in water. I've given them the most authentic experience available. Oh god, is that a fucking gash down his neck? I just noticed that. It, it's literally like a gash from their foreheads down to, like, their fucking chests. That is gross. Fuck. Die, die, die. No! You gotta give me time to wind up and fucking wall wallow. You gotta give me time to wail up you. Ugh. Gotta fight fair, man. You gotta give me, uh, you gotta give me four tibs on the hit. I'm the challenger. You're the champ. You're, you're the home team, you know? You gotta give the, you gotta give the visitor some, some courtesy, some slack. That's, uh, Marcus of Queensberry rules, you see? Oh, is he just permadead already? So why is this guy still scuffling? Why do sometimes they die and sometimes they don't? What the fuck? Fucking video gaming. Oh. Am I, am I hurt? Yeah, I'm hurt pretty bad. At least I have some more juice. Some more, uh, whiskey business. What the hell? Uh, sounds like somebody's having a bad time. James. James Sunderland. Um, Eddie. Eddie. Who's that dead guy in the kitchen? I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill anybody. You're not friends with that red pyramid. Thing, are you? Red pyramid thing? I don't know what you're talking about. Honest. But I did see some weird looking monsters. in here. <laughs> well, I guess this place isn't too safe either. What happened here anyway? Uh, I, I told you, I don't know. I'm not even from this town. I just, I just... <sighs> you too, huh? Something just brought you here, right? Whatever it is, I think you better get out of here soon. Yeah, you're right. What about you? I'll leave as soon as I'm done here. Eddie, be careful. James, I... I, um... You be careful, too. So I forgot to check the kitchen because I forgot about uh, exactly how that scene goes. There's a fucking dead body in the fridge. And, uh. Yeah, over under on uh, Eddie having absolutely fucking murdered that guy. I'm gonna, gonna say odds are in favor. I'm gonna say odds are in favor. That dude's fucking suspicious as shit. Uh, also, fun fact, I'm not sure if I remember this correctly or not, but
but I'm pretty sure in the original cut of this game that cutscene actually showed Eddie vomiting in the toilet and uh, like like fucking chunks and shit coming out of his mouth into the water and uh, that is the thing that that they were like oh shit you know this might be too far we should probably we should probably censor this make it a little bit uh, less fucked up not any of the fucking horrible monsters not the pyramid head rape scene that we would fucking or whatever that was that we saw earlier None of that. No, all the blood and guts and murder and all the fucked up shit that's yet to come, that's all fine. But the, the vomit scene? That's just too fucking gross, man. Gotta have some standards. Gotta have some taste. And our fucking game about horrible death. To be honest, though, uh, I sympathize. Like, I'm one of those people where if I see vomit... Fuck if I ain't vomiting too. That that shit's coming out. It, it's happening. There's just no. There's no other way. But yeah, uh, this has been this has been kind of a long episode too. I didn't really mean to keep it up, but shit, you know what? Y'all deserve content. And this game, this game is whew, some quality fucking content. I'll tell uh, to say the least. But uh, we'll find. We'll see the next. We'll see the next uh, set of horrors. On the next video, for now, I'm your host, Mystery Lime. This has been Terror Time, playing Silent Hill, and uh, I hope to see you again in the next video.